Cloud Forest Written and photographed by Nick Bishop What is a cloud forest? A cloud forest is a very special type of forest. It grows high in the mountains where the trees are nearly always covered in clouds. Clouds blow through the trees, wetting their leaves and branches, and rain falls almost every day. These forests are rare because they only grow on the cloudiest mountain ranges. You can see them in different places around the world, in tropical parts of Asia, Africa, Australia and the Americas. Cloud forests are rich in plants and animals that live nowhere else on Earth. They also have secrets to tell us. Many cloud forests are so hard to reach that they haven't been explored by scientists. Perhaps three quarters of their plants and animals haven't yet been found. Only a tiny number of tropical forests are cloud forests. This brilliant flower grows in the cloud forest. A beetle scurries along a branch. A climb to the cloud forest. Imagine you are going to climb a tropical mountain. At the bottom, you will find rainforest. It's very warm and damp, and some trees grow as tall as 50 metres higher than an office block. As you climb higher up the mountain, you'll notice that the air gets cooler and the trees are a little shorter. Then you'll reach a place where clouds brush against the mountain. Blowing mists soak the leaves and branches of the trees with water that trickles and drips to the ground. This place is the cloud forest, and it's very different from the rain forest lower down. It's much cooler and always soggy. Cloud forests can get from three to eight metres of water each year. In the cloud forest, the tallest trees are only about 30 metres high. There are hundreds of mosses and ferns which cover everything in a soft green coat. If you study the forest closely, you'll find that many of the plants and animals are different from those in the warm rainforest. They need to be able to cope with the cool dampness of the cloud forest. As you climb further upwards, the air becomes even colder and the trees become even smaller. Near the top of the mountain, the trees may only be four metres tall. Their growth is crooked and stunted by the strong, cool winds that blow almost every day. The twisted branches look spooky, like the legs and arms of strange green creatures. That's why this type of cloud forest is called Elfin Forest. Cloud Forest Life There are lots of different plants and animals that live in cloud forests, but nobody knows exactly how many. Some of them can only live in the cloud forests. Some can only live in one particular cloud forest. You may find plants and animals in the cloud forest on one mountain that are different to the cloud forest on the very next mountain. There are only a few hundred mountain gorillas left. They live in the cloud forests of Africa. Plants Cloud forests are especially rich in mosses and ferns, which like to grow in damp places. 
In the cloud forest on Mount Kinabalu in Borneo, there are 600 different kinds of fern growing. That's more kinds of fern than grow in the whole of North America. Cloud forests are the best place to see tree ferns, which can grow up to five metres tall. Plants like these were growing before dinosaurs walked on Earth. Many cloud forest plants live in an unusual way. They grow on the branches of trees instead of on the ground. Normally, plants have to live on the ground so their roots can get water from the soil. But cloud forests are so wet that these plants can gather all the water they need from the mist and rain. This means they can live on the trees where they get more light than on the ground. Many of the world's orchids grow in cloud forests. The overlapping leaves of this plant hold a pool of water in the centre, which makes a home for small frogs and insects. Mosses, ferns and orchids often grow on the trees. One tree can have as many as 300 different plants growing on its branches and trunk. Mammals Fewer large mammals live in cloud forests than in rainforests, but some of these mammals are very unusual. In New Guinea, kangaroos live in trees like monkeys. These tree kangaroos use their long tails to balance, just as monkeys do. The long-nosed echidna lives in New Guinea's mountain forests. This unusual mammal lays eggs and feeds on earthworms. New animals are still being discovered. Scientists have recently found new kinds of deer, pigs and rabbits living in a cloud forest in Vietnam. Echidnas probe the ground with their long noses and catch earthworms with their sticky tongues. Birds. Many birds visit the cloud forest. They fly up from the rainforest to nest or to look for food. In New Guinea's cloud forests, large flocks of colourful parakeets look for berries and nuts. If you are really lucky, you may spot the rare bird of paradise. Rare dwarf cassowaries live in New Guinea cloud forests. They eat mostly fruit. Sickle-billed birds of paradise use their long beaks to catch insects. In Central America, the brilliant green and red quetzal birds raise their young in the cloud forest. Hummingbirds and parrots also add flashes of colour. They come to feed on the forest's bright flowers and fruit. Quetzals of Central America are among the world's most beautiful birds. Frogs and lizards. Frogs like to live in damp places, so the cloud forest is perfect for them. Most are nocturnal, which means they come out at night. They sleep under logs and leaves by day and wake up after sunset to hunt for insects. Cookies of Puerto Rico have suckers on their toes so that they can climb up tree trunks and across leaves. They are nocturnal, waking up at sunset to catch small insects. Many lizards, like this mossy gecko from Madagascar, have green and brown colours that match their surroundings. They hide 
by staying very still and waiting. Then, when insects crawl by, the lizards snap them up. Insects. We know very little about cloud forest insects. During the day, colorful butterflies may flutter through the trees, but most insects are nocturnal. Some live on the ground, hiding in the wet blanket of ferns, mosses, and dead leaves. Others live among the tree plants. Beautiful blue morpho butterflies can sometimes be seen in the cloud forests of Central America. It's best to explore the forest after dark. That's when you can see all kinds of insects, like stick insects, moths, and beetles. Cicadas and grasshoppers both have brown and green colors to help them hide. Cloud forests in danger. Cloud forests are in danger. They are often small compared to other forests, so it doesn't take long to cut them down. And once they are gone, they can't grow again in the same way. People have already destroyed cloud forests for timber, to plant crops, or to graze cattle. Hawaii's unusual cloud forest plants have been threatened by pigs, which dig them out of the ground. The pigs don't belong in the cloud forest. They were released by people and now live wild in the forest. Scientists are growing these rare plants in greenhouses. Then they put them back in the forests, which have been fenced to protect them from pigs. One of the greatest threats to the cloud forest is climate change. Scientists believe that some mountain areas are becoming less cloudy and wet. This is difficult for cloud forest plants and animals, which depend on lots of moisture. In a cloud forest called Monteverde in Costa Rica, about half of the frogs and toads died. After a few dry years, then the snakes and other animals that depended on the frogs and toads for food started to disappear too. Golden toads from Monteverde are now thought to be extinct. Scientists believe the world's climate is getting warmer. This is a problem for plants and animals that like to live where it's cool. Some can survive. By living higher up in the mountains, where it's cold enough for them. But what about the cloud forest plants and animals that already live on the mountain tops? People need cloud forests. It's very important to protect cloud forests, not only for the plants and animals that live there, but for everyone. Water collects in rivers and streams. Cloud forests collect water. This water flows in rivers to the lowlands, where people use it for drinking or for watering crops. These rivers keep flowing even when it doesn't rain, because cloud forests collect water straight from the clouds. If cloud forests are cut down, people. Will have less water. Water collected from the clouds and rain in the cloud forest flows downhill for people to use in the lowlands. The cloud forest also stops mountain soil from sliding down to the lowlands. The trees hold it firm with their roots. If the forest is cut down. Heavy rains can wash the soil away and flood the lowlands with mud. These wild strawberries grow in the cloud forest. 
so do wild avocados, tomatoes, peppers, beans, and potatoes. Cloud forest plants and animals are very useful to people. Some plants may give us new food crops. They have already given us medicines for cancer. Who knows what other discoveries will be made in the future?